Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this pixel stretch effect on your videos. So this is actually a very simple effect to do, but I'll show you where it is and a couple of different ways you can use it. So what the pixel stretch is, is an effect. It's actually, you might think it'd be under the distort folder, but it's actually in the transition folder and it's called CC scale wipe. So if we're working on our original clip and I click and drag this CC scale wipe onto the clip, I should see it pop up in my effect controls panel. Now at first, the stretch amount is set to zero, so you won't see anything happen. But if I increase that stretch amount, you'll slowly start to see the layer start to stretch from this point that we have here, the center point that it's given. So right now it's stretching from a center point at an angle of 50 degrees. But I can adjust all of those things. So if I was to adjust the angle to 90 degrees, you'll see it's stretching to the right. Now I can keep it at a low stretch amount, but if we want to get that single pixel line stretch, we can increase the stretch amount all the way to 100 strength. And now we have your more classic looking pixel stretch effect, and you can adjust the center point as needed. And the cool part about this is you can animate it with keyframes, but you don't always necessarily need to because the things in your video are going to be moving in and out, causing a kind of cool animation effect. Now, there's a couple things that might happen when you do this that I'll show you some quick tips to fix. So if you're using any direction other than the straight up, right, up, down, left, right, like a curved angle, you might notice it causes some transparency to appear because it's stretching at an angle that is not rectangular. So a couple solutions that you can do to fix this. One, kind of a, a lazy way, is just to increase the scale or size of the video. So basically increasing the, sc the scale of it till you crop it out. That can work depending on what you want to do. Or another way you can do is by heading over to the effects and presets panel and searching for the mirror effect, which is in the distort menu, adding it after the scale wipe. And then basically we're just going to reflect this line right here of symmetry. So I can find that line. Actually, if I just make it 70 degrees, just like the scale wipe, it should align up and then just lower the Y axis all the way to those two pixels meet. And in this way, you can fill in your pixel stretch without having to scale your video at different angles. Another way that we can use this is with keyframes as a transition. So if I did have another clip on the timeline, let's say something that was going to play after, I can make this effect kind of take over the whole screen and then on the second clip start out and reveal itself. So for example, what that would look like in my effects control panel, I'll just do a simple 90 degree scale wipe. I'll remove that mirror. And let's say we're going to start at zero strength here. We'll add a keyframe to everything just to be safe. And right as the clip transition happens, we'll make it go to 100. And we'll also take this X point to zero. So making it stretch all the way to the side of the clip. And then on the second one, I will add a CC scale wipe effect. And I'll start at zero. I'll keyframe all of those. And then I'll make it go to zero strength, effectively revealing the clip. So if I play those two, we kind of have like a pixel stretch transition. You could obviously smooth it out, play around with the angles and make it a little bit nicer than that. But you can see how this effect can be used with keyframes as well. But that's the basics of the CC scale wipe effect and how you can use it for a pixel stretch. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and click on some of my other After Effects playlist for more effects and transitions. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.